Hello everyone, so in this video I am going to install a printer in Windows 11 and I am going to install this printer using an IP address of the printer. So in the search section I'm just going to type printers and I'm going to click on printers and scanners. Also you can click on the start menu, go to settings, on the left side click on Bluetooth and devices and select printers and scanners. So I'm going to click on add device. So I want to add this printer manually. I'm going to click add manually. So I'm going to get this. So I'm going to get this menu box here. I want to select add a printer using an IP address or host name. Click next. In the device type section, there's a drop down tab here. I am going to select TCP IP and in the host name or IP address, I'm going to type the IP address of the printer. So if you have a printer that's connected wirelessly, or by Ethernet cable, you can find out what's the IP address of that printer and just type it in here. So I'm going to type the IP address of the printer. So in this section where it says query the printer and automatically select the driver to use, I'm going to check this. So most of the times when you check this, it will automatically download the driver for the printer from the internet. So if the driver is not automatically downloaded, you will have to go to HP's website and just type the model number of your printer or if it's an Lexmark you just go to Lexmark website and you can just type in the model number of the printer and download the driver. I'll click next. So the printer is not listed here. So what I have to do, I have to download the printer driver from the internet. So I have a Lexmark printer. I'll click on Lexmark drivers. You want to make sure the website is either Lexmark or HP or whatever type of printer you have. Click on drivers and downloads. So the model number of the Lexmark printer I have is MS510. And it's MS510DN. I'm going to select that. So what I'll do, I'll download a universal driver. So here it says type OS model, OS version. I'll click on the drop down tab. I'm going to select Windows 11. I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to download the universal print driver for this printer that I have. I'll click start download. I'll click accept. Now this is the Lexmark printer driver wizard and you can also install the printer by IP address with this. So it says here launch the ad printer wizard after extraction completes. And it says you want to extract the files to this folder and it's pointing here to the C drive. You can also change this. So if I don't want to use the wizard, I just have to uncheck this and click start. Okay, so it's downloaded. So it's in the C drive and it's here in the Lexmac folder. So these are the drivers. So I'm going to go back to this menu page. I'm going to say have disk. I'm going to browse for the driver. I'll click browse and I want to go to the C drive. Click on this PC. Click on the C drive, click on the Lexmac folder, click on drivers. And it already picked up the file name. I'll click open, click OK. This is it. This is the Lexmac Universal printer driver. I'll click next. Now this is the default printer name. So you can change this name here. I'm going to type CC as the name of the printer. Click next. And the printer is being installed. Now you have this option, do not share printer or share the printer so that others on your network can find and use them. I'm going to say do not share this printer, click next. And here is where you can print a test page. So I'll click print the test page and the test page has been sent to the printer. Click finish and the printer is listed here. Now if you click the printer, 
in my case it's CC this is the Lexmac printer you're going to get all the printer settings here I'll click on printer properties and you're going to get all these options here you're going to get sharing port so under the ports tab the IP address will be listed here and it will have a check mark on the IP address there's advanced color management but this is a black and white purity configuration so you can also print test page so this printer install I installed it by IP address and I downloaded the driver from Lexmac and it was the universal driver that I downloaded so I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing